It's one of the biggest songs of the year, Justin Bieber's Love Yourself, sold over 1.1 million copies in the US alone and spent an impressive four weeks at the top of the Australian charts. What many people don't know is that there was an Aussie helping to mould Justin's sound behind the scenes. In fact, Simon Cohen is building quite the reputation, having worked with artists like Will I Am, Jessica Malboy, and Guy Sebastian. And music producer Simon Cohen is here with us on the couch. Hi, Hi Simon. Hi guys, how are you doing? You're welcome. So how does uh, Aussie Simon come to, come to work with Canadian Justin? Um, well, I'm in a very fortunate position. I work in a large recording studio and um, a couple of years ago he was out here on tour and uh, a friend of mine uh, was unavailable to kind of work with him and passed along the job to me. Uh, he seemed to have liked what I, sort of how we worked together and then uh, the last time he was in town um, we, we got together and we recorded this song. This is the Lo Love Yourself song. Yeah. Mm. This is unusual, I suppose, because uh, Justin and those sorts of superstars would rely on relationships, particularly behind the scenes, of relationships built, built up over years and years. This was quite a whirlwind. This happened in a, in a flash. Absolutely. Well, I mean, this, uh, this time around for, for recording Love Yourself, I fairly much woke up to an email, can you be in Melbourne now? Uh, I'm up in Sydney and I hopped straight on a plane and down we did and it was that very evening we did we recorded the song. What's he like to work with? He's actually one of the hardest working people I've ever had the pleasure to kind of be in the studio with. The yeah. the, the attention to detail and the um the just the, the, the work ethic is fantastic. And he has the talent to go with it, right? He's, yeah. It's amazing. I mean, you know, in between takes he was sort of sitting there playing a piano and just having a sing and it's it sounded yeah. incredible. Um, Love Yourself is one of his biggest hits. It was written by none other than Ed Sheeran. Right? Yeah. When you for, first saw it, were you thinking this is one of the biggest songs in the world in a month or two? Well, so as a, you know, when, when I receive demos and you have a listen through, I, I, I like to think that I sort of heard it and thought that this is a terrific, terrific song. I, mean, I think Ed Sheeran's writing is very, very strong kind yeah. of all the time. Uh, and it's, just, it's quite gratifying when the rest of the world kind of hears what you hear in a song as well. Yeah. Uh, that it's not, you know, it's not just me kind of thing that everyone else kind of kind of jumps on board as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Simon, tell us what you do as a vocal producer because I'm listening to that, I'm hearing a guitar and I'm hearing Justin Bieber and it sounds like a pretty simple song. As, so <laughs> as a producer, like what, what do you do? Do you twist? <laughs> not, like, well, I'm interested to know because it sounds like a really simple song. Well, in this case, it, it is a very straightforward song, but therein lies some of the difficulty that, you know, that there's nothing to hide behind. There's not a big elaborate production to sort of mask any imperfections. It's all in the vocal delivery. It has to, it has to feel honest. It has to connect with the audience, which sort of clearly it has. Uh, and so, I mean, I would like, liken my job as a vocal producer very similarly to, say, a director on a film set where the material is written and my job is to sort of elicit the best and strongest performance out of the out of the artist that I can. So can you say to Justin, I think you should hold that note just half a second longer, that sort of thing? Absolutely. If, yeah. if, if that's what it's going to take to get the message across, or I think you need to push a little harder, or I don't think, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't feel honest yet, uh, that's, that's what I'm being paid for. Well, you're never allowed near us again. <laughs> um, that would be the longest day in the world, wouldn't it? Um, you, What's it like, so the entourage situation, we've had Justin Bieber in here a couple of times and there is an army, <laughs> like a, a, a small force, isn't there, around him of people saying, yes, no, you can't do that, don't talk to him, but, but when he's there sitting on that stool in, in that studio, right, you've got him, you got him raw. It's, it's very personal, it's very one-to-one, -one. I mean, there's, there's a couple of people there, uh, in this particular case he had his touring band with him because he was out mm. um, doing a promo tour. And so a couple of musicians around to kind of help out, but it's it's very much a kind of one-on-one -on -one interaction. You know, you're you're working directly with them. We're we're both trying to get the best result, and yeah. he's professional enough to know that everyone else kind of gets in the way. You know, if yeah. you, if in you're, that process, absolutely. exactly. Yeah. So you would have had to work your way through Larry's entourage as you came into the studio this morning. It's twenty deep. I know. So you're lucky you got in with that shirt. <laughs> I know. Aside from Larry's entourage, the next biggest entourage you've ever seen, probably. Um. At the studio, there's definitely been a couple of people that have come through with with, with whole groups. Mm -hmm. um, 
Ice T was in recently, had sort of about 10 deep worth of worth of guys. Uh, Snoop Dogg was quite an interesting one when he came in. I'm told he's, he flies his uncle around because yeah. he just loves the way that he cooks. Yeah. Uh, and so takes him everywhere, uh, you know, as part of the group to make sure that he can get the food that he... Great job, that. You know, <laughs> Fantastic. Get what he really wants. Love it. <laughs> Have you ever had to get through the entourage to get to the performer to get your message across? Um, Do you know what I mean? You have I, to I go through their, 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 their a, a translation their, 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 Right, right, right. <laughs> Uh, no, usually, usually when you're hired, you know there there is a, a mutual respect where they, they understand that we're all you know we're, we all have the same aim in mind here. We're all trying to yeah. make this the best it can be, uh, and hopefully, you know, hopefully we'll stand aside. Fantastic. <laughs> well, we know you've done lots of work with lots of other artists. Anything coming out real soon that we're going to it's going to have the Simon Cohen stamp on it that you think we're going to love? Uh, there's a new record coming out for Jess Kent soon. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, there's one for Alice Terry as well. Yeah. Which I think will be. You know, I think that the, the country is going to really, really kind Take of love. Two. Okay. Um, on top of that, let's see what what else is coming out. Um, might, be new, might be a new Justice Crew song. Oh, might just be. oh yes. <laughs> Heard it here first. <laughs> uh, mate, great to see you. I Thank love you that son. song, Love Yourself. Like hidden meanings all the way through that. Really, it's a great song. Go on, Gangbusters. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. And if you want to learn more about what goes into making a hit song, Simon is teaching a vocal production. Sorry, keep going. <laughs> Masterclass right after I get my knee reconstruction. <laughs> uh, a vocal masterclass. Yes. Are we doing that? Yes, I think we We're should. We're doing it. Thank you, Simon. Well, can we come along? Please. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, one of us can sing and one of us thinks she can sing. Uh, <laughs> details on our website. I thank can you help for with coming. Both. Yes, thank you so much. Kylie, just Kylie's just a little quite... finessing, I think, is all that would be required. Kylie was uh, quite can a good singer. The one I should hope so. <laughs> just ask her. <laughs>